All right, we'll take Ty's question here. We'll probably take two or three more questions, so go ahead and get your questions uh, in the comments section. So apparently my ex has decided to represent herself during our mediation. I don't understand why, and neither does my lawyer. What does this say to the court when she shows up by herself? How does this play out in mediation? So I, I don't think on its face the judge or the mediator, depending on your state, how they do them. I don't exactly know the, the situation. Is it, is it a mediation position where the judge is going to get involved to try to get to a solution? Or is this court-ordered, private mediation, whatever it may be? Um, but I don't think they'll look at it on its face and have an issue. But you have an advantage. So your attorney should be able to educate you should be able to tell you generally what's going to happen, should be able to tell you what to expect, and should help you get your thoughts in order. So um, I had Alabama attorney Michael Lambert on probably about three months ago, and he he's a mediator, and we, we spoke on that. And um, one of the things your attorney should be doing is helping you put together a list of things that matter. So going in knowing the two, three, four things that really, really matter to you uh, so that you're more prepared to be able to come to a resolution. Um, a lot of times I see pro se litigants get tied up either in they don't trust the entire process and so they end up making outlandish requests and they lose sight of what they actually want um i see them they they get bad advice uh from people i see this very commonly where they'll say fire an attorney who's going to get them a, a good deal and get this situation settled and then they start taking advice from their aunt who has been divorced four times and thinks she's a human child support calculator and knows everything there is to know about courts and child custody so you have an advantage. I don't think the courts are going to necessarily hold it against her. I would say your odds of coming to a resolution when it's pro se, when either side or one side is pro se, are probably less than if both are represented. Um, in, in my experience, a lot of times uh, when, not all the time, and it may not be your specific situation, but a lot of times when... Uh, when women will fire their attorneys leading into something like this will be very, very, very close to a deal will be her, her attorney and myself, maybe on the same wavelength on what we need to do or what we need. And, um, because of that, uh, and they, they think they deserve more, they want something different. They'll fire their attorney, uh, because they think they can do, they can get more, they can do a better job themselves. So I, I always tell clients when the other side, fires their attorney and goes pro se or is just pro se from the beginning, it just makes things a little bit more unpredictable. Uh, when you have counsel on the other side, there's a lot of stuff that uh, you know kind of how it's going to go down. So that that would be my only piece. It's it's You're probably less likely to get a deal done, but going into mediation, you need to focus on yourself and what you really want to get as good an outcome as you possibly can. 